Boom! There we are. What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Summit Tech once again, and we are finally at Tax South 2019. We're in the BYOC area right now, and here's my BYOC setup for all y'all that are interested. We have an Acer 75 Hz 1080p 25 inch monitor with FreeSync that we aren't using because while you can use FreeSync apparently on, of course, NVIDIA cards, it's only with DisplayPort. So that's kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer there. Here's our Antec case. And on that Antec case, or in that Antec case, we have an RTX 2080 with a 700K and 32 gigs of memory. Yeah. A little Gamdius keyboard that we have reviewed up on the channel. And I tried the Gamdius mouse, but I, I gotta have my Corsair. So there's my Corsair M65. The blue snowball for the live streaming, unfortunately, we're only getting about 1.7 down or up as well. So we're only able to stream at like 540p, but you can check it out on twitch.tv slash son of, not son of attack. <laughs> twitch.tv slash blind run now. And then my controller. That's pretty much the whole setup. It's pretty straightforward. The camera is weird with focusing right now, so I don't know what we're gonna do. It's on full uh, or manual focus. It sometimes works, but doesn't always. See that? See, it won't it won't focus in without me touching the screen, which is fine. We just have to remember to touch the screen. Boom, there's, there's the keyboard. There's the mouse. LG V30. All right. Ooh, did it work? Hey, that's good. All right, so let's go take a look at the showroom floor. And um, we're not gonna be able to live stream any of it, but we'll be able to get as much as possible. It's gonna be like constant manual focus. I should probably fix that. So I believe it's here is the Magic the Gathering stuff. I want to play, but I missed the first round of drafts, and I only do drafts because I don't like bringing decks and cards and everything to it. But they're doing a draft right now. I think there'll be another one tomorrow. We might hop in on it. So that's all the table game area. All of it. I need to get one of those camera stabilizers. I meant to buy one. Dane, I thought Dane was coming and he had one. Obviously, that didn't work out. So we tried to do this on the live stream, which was get the escalator ride up. I did notice that Elgato's got this stationed up here. But one of the cool things is they have these lights out now. They're about $1.99. And I know Keith was talking about are they worth it or not. So you have one, two levels of adjustability. Let me see if we can get this. Go back to manual focus. There we go. And they just twist out and you can raise it or lower it and then the desk mount and I haven't gotten to see the um, it has integration with of course the stream deck but I haven't got to see a demo of it maybe we can get a demo of it later and see how it works so they got two of them here There's a key light. Hey, can you show me the integration with the stream deck on the key light? Cool. Just come on in. So you just have the stream deck mini here? Yep. So if I want to uh, turn the lights off, 
I set up a multi-action here so that it turns off both at the same time. So I can just hit this and both go, go off. And then I hit it again, both go on. Is there brightness settings as well? Or? Yeah, I can do that via the Stream Deck or I can do it in our own uh, Control Center software here. If I bring it up. There we are. I think those are the two lights. Okay, oh, got sorry. it. No, Actually, we'll do it over fine. here. Almost got it. Uh, there we are. So I can change the color temperature if I want to. Color temperature there. And I can change the brightness. Brightness as well. of those lights. Okay, cool. So, and so it just they have a supplemental power. Is it all through USB, or you have one uh, that goes it's into all, it's a just brick? Wall power. So, so you it's plug it in and then you pair. Wall power. Yeah. You and just then plug you plug in, the, and then you pair with your Wi-Fi network. Pair so with you the Wi-Fi, okay. Or, uh, or an iOS device. You just connect it to your, uh, well, it'll show up there as key light. You hit connect, you put in your Wi Fi password, and there you go. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks, man. I have everything sure. else from Elgato. I right. have what to check those out sometimes. I was wondering what the value was for 200, right? So, I mean, that was kind of the big thing. A lot of people are like, 200 for a light, we already have our box lights and stuff, so I wanted That's to see, you know, not, what it is. The way we see it, it's not an entry-level product. It's not, like, if you already have lights, that's great, but it's for someone who might be more space, con space conscious, right? I mean, you see I how, like how, how they, yeah. it is. Uh, you know, for someone who streams 10 hours a day in a room that gets really hot, these don't get warm at all. Okay. If you have a like a standing desk that moves up and down, you know, these can move up and down with the How desk much power the are they, do you know? Up to 45 watts. 45 watts, up okay. To, so, obviously, like, we're running them at, like, 10% power right now or something like that. So, it's not pulling nearly that much. Um, but, again, you know, if, if, if you've got a really complicated setup and you don't want to mess with your lights, you get a key light, you control it from your PC once you set it Throw up. Throw it so right up. It just makes everything super easy. Yeah, I like it. I might pick one up. I guess you would kind of need two, kind of like you the don't setup need here. Two, uh, but two is, you know, obviously you get, your, you get more even lighting from both sides, but you can absolutely get away with one. Uh, even for like creating a like green screen like chroma king. Yeah, because I have the Elgato one. green screen, yeah. so you would just throw that in just as long as you're like centered, but then yeah. might be a little bit too much direct light. I have box lights and I bounce them off the corners, yeah. which helps reduce the heat and the brightness in your face a little bit. But yeah. cool, thanks, man. Yeah, absolutely. You're good. So there's the key lights. Uh, I hope you guys could hear them well enough. I tried to repeat everything. Looks like it connects like an IoT device over your Wi-Fi network. So if you don't have a Wi-Fi network, um, it's not going to work for you, unfortunately. And then the, your stream PC will have to be on that same Wi-Fi network, which can still be plugged in, you know, via the cord or cable into the Wi-Fi router. But Overall, pretty interesting stuff there. Uh, 199 for one though, so you're talking about $400 for the setup you saw just there, which is pretty intense. I like the connectivity though. I want to take a look at this solar perch. Looks like a twin stick shooter. Four player co-op twin stick shooter. Solar Purge. I'm interested in that one. I like twin stick shooters. There's Omen Sight. We took it that a look at that last year. And then Microsoft's doing some fun stuff over here too. So we got info on the key light. We might be back with more video later. I am going to go ahead and find myself a, a, a mouse pad, a mouse pad. And then we are going to play some games. Try to find something fun to do. Let me know if you guys saw anything you want me to check out. I did see a Western Digital Black over here. We might go talk to Western Digital. Peace.